hello yes bonus videos I'm getting out those last four bonus videos for August um, I've just done Virgo we're gonna do Pisces next I still have Aries and Gemini thank you guys for being so patient these last four signs have been so amazingly patient patience is a virtue because for September Virgos will be first because it's their month and then after that it's going to be Pisces Aries Gemini in whatever order I'm not sure we'll see how I get led to do it um, but a couple of announcements before we continue Pisces I still have my two specials going on $50 for a half hour live, $85 for a one hour live, and if you need an emergency, which means you need to be worked in within 24 hours, honey, $150 is my emergency. It's not on sale, it's just the regular price. But if you wanna book a reading with me, you need to click on the box below. All of my information is there. When you send me an email, make sure in the title of your email you put what type of reading you want, especially if you want an emergency reading, please, okay? It's very important, that way I can see it. I get so many emails a day that I need to be able to sort through very quickly. What are readings? What are just, hey, how you doings? What are the, what you doings? I, I, when, when September? Please put it in the title. If you guys have Instagram or Facebook, follow me, Saltwater Hills Tarot. How's everybody recouping from the huh, two eclipses? We're still under Mercury retrograde, which is why things have been extremely behind, honey electronics have been behind you know how long it took me to upload virgos video to youtube it took so long and normally it don't take that long it took forever i was in slow mode too i was like in slow motion i'm finally recouped and as you guys can see honey i'm back there will be a special love reading coming today also I'm trying to tell spirit, please let me get these last four out before we do the special love reading. It's been in the works since this past weekend. Special love reading. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with your energy. Bonus videos are your energy, a central issue in energy, and their energy. Their meaning whoever you're thinking about, your partner, your ex, your crush, your twin flame, your soulmate. Whoever it is you have on your mind, whoever you're thinking about, whoever, whoever you're obsessing about. I just heard the word obsessing, Pisces. Who are you guys obsessing over? You frickas. You guys are obsessing about somebody? I heard that in my, I just heard it. Obsess, obsessive. I don't mind obsessive, but not no motherfucking stranger, honey. My partner. I like my partner to be obsessed with me. I don't mind. Wow. Interesting. <clears throat> All right. Let's start with the central issue for our central energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So the Wheel of Fortune can be for karma, karmic situations, whether you're in a karmic situation with this person or you're in a karmic relationship with somebody else or they're in a karmic relationship with somebody else. Honey, this is karmic. This is about something that's a cycle, okay? This is also about good fortune and serendipity and good luck. Honey, you know this solar eclipse is supposed to bring sudden new beginnings, sudden new endings. It's supposed to bring good fortune to some people. Some people will become famous overnight, honey. This is a beautiful card, but this is also symbolizing the karmic relationships that some of you guys still have that have to be dealt with, okay? This is a cycle. This cycle will be fucking ending. Next, we have Ace of Wands, fiery energy, right? Ace of Wands is about passion and sex or like... This is a new beginning with something passionate. So this is career, love. This is a good end. I'm sorry, somebody called and when someone calls, my video cuts off. That's one of you guys calling. Please pump your brakes. I'm trying to do bonus videos right now. So for this to be your guys' central issue, this is beautiful, right? This is a beautiful energy to have as your central issue. Now let's start with Pisces. Your first card, ooh, is the Six of Swords. Honey, the Six of Swords is all about moving on, leaving, going someplace better, moving on. 
on, whether this is moving on from this karmic situation or moving on and just saying like, okay, it's, I've been in a funk. I've been in a funk. I'm moving on to better things. I am going to be more positive. It's just moving on from something that does not serve you, whether that's people, places, or things, new jobs. The next card you guys have, Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is all about waiting for your ships to come in. You don't know when. You don't know how, honey. But you know these ships are coming in. They're coming in hot. You've been waiting. Queen of Cups. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. And yes, it's a queen, but it also could just be the energy. Queen of Cups. Her energy is somebody, honey, who is very emotionally nurturing, <clears throat> sensitive, intuitive. So for, uh, Pisces, you guys, because you're water signs, you guys are very emotional. You guys are sensitive, intuitive. Air signs and water signs are more naturally intuitive. Sorry, hold on. Got that shit stuck on my screen. Um, you guys are naturally more intuitive, okay? Like us air signs. I don't know what it is. It's just... I know a lot of people that are water signs and air signs that are just more naturally intuitive. But then you guys are sensitive too, honey. You guys are sensitive too. Um, let's move on to the other person's energy, okay? So my phone just slipped a little bit. Oh, God, please don't fall from the freaking thing. Okay, so they got the five of cups. This is somebody that's focusing on the negative. My phone is slipping. Hold on. This is someone that's focusing on the negative, okay? Focusing on the cups that are no longer full. Focusing on something that they lost or they do not have anymore. What they're failing to see is these cups right here. What's in these cups? Well, how the fuck are you going to know if you don't look, right? This is about somebody saying, my glass is half empty. My cup is half empty. Honey, be lucky you have a cup. Then we have the Nine of Wands. Jeez, they are on the defense. This is someone defensive, on guard. See the bandage on his head? Every time I get this card, I point out the bandage on his head because this motherfucker been through war, honey. This motherfucker been through hell. And this person is prepared for it. They're preparing for the worst. They're preparing for the worst. Their finger is on the trigger, as I like to say. They're ready to pop off at any second. Honey, they're ready to accuse. They're ready to, to question, okay? Honey, you're going to be sitting on the witness stand, and this motherfucker is going to have exhibits A through Z. Next, we have the Emperor, which is for an Aries. This could be an Aries some of you guys are dealing with. The Emperor is also, if you guys know, when you watch my videos, I also sometimes feel like the Emperor is the energy of an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Why? Well, because the Emperor is very logical. He's very knowledgeable, very intellectual. That's how a lot of air signs are. The Emperor can be someone in a powerful position too, right? He makes decisions. He's authoritative. This is my card for military people or for people that are in like law enforcement too. I just want to point out. So I'm going to clarify this Wheel of Fortune, okay? And the Ace of Wands. Basically the central issue. Wow, we got the Chariot. Some of you guys are dealing with the Cancer. But the Chariot is also about movement, progress, movement. It's about... Some of you guys are traveling, I just heard. Traveling. Vacation, maybe. Traveling. Honey, maybe this is where you'll meet someone new. This new passionate beginning. But we also got the nine of fucking cups. Beautiful. This is about wishes. This is also water. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Emotions. Water. Intuitiveness. Right? This is wishes. The wishes coming true. This wheel of fortune might be turning in a lot of people's favors. Wow. It might be bringing a lot of good things. Wishes are coming true for some people. They are. I want to clarify what you guys are moving on from. Wow, it's judgment fucking day. Reminder, I know it's kind of far into the reading, but if you're a new subscriber, I swear. So if you're not okay with that, please click off now. Judgment is about making a decision. <coughs> moving on from something, making a decision. What is this decision about? 
Pisces, what is this new decision about? Whatever it is, choose wisely because look at what we have. This is for you and your partners though. But look at what we have. Choose wisely. Make the right decision, right? Now, I want to clarify what this other person over here is dwelling on, honey. This Five of Cups is like a dwelling kind of energy. Ah. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is Air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But this is fast, aggressive energy. Look. Ten of fucking pentacles is about financial abundance, being surrounded by financial comfort and success. Which is very weird because it's this. But little do they know that this is this. So if you guys are watching, because you are with a Pisces, right? You guys better get your shit together. Look at what these cups hold. Could be financial abundance, right? Which is coming true. Let's go ahead and clarify the emperor. Let's see what that's about. God damn it, fuck. Oh, indecision. I get it now. Indecision. In see, they're in this mode, right? Expecting the worst. This is them. Indecision. They need to take on the energy of the emperor. They need to take on the energy of the emperor. The emperor is someone who is very calm, cool, and collected, honey. He or she sits on their throne. And they are authoritative and they take control. When shit pops off, there's chaos, there's war. The emperor sits there and goes, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to handle this. We're going to do this. So I feel like they're in like this transition. The partners, the people you're thinking about, they're in a transition right now. It's a transition of them figuring shit out. Getting from this sad morning, uh, everything's negative, to this, I know what I gotta do, and I'm gonna do it right now. That's the energy I feel. Anyways, my beautiful Pisces, you guys have been so patient, I love you guys. Remember, Facebook, Instagram, Saltwater Hills Tarot, I go live on Instagram a lot. If you want a personal reading, Please click on the information below before you email me, honey. Cut down on my email time so I don't got to go back and forth with you with what you want. If you want an emergency reading, $150, please email and put that in your title. Please, in the title. All readings, please put it in the title, especially emergency. Anyways, I'm going to go because I have to do Aries and Gemini and that special love reading is coming. And I think you guys will like this new special love reading that I have coming out. It's time. It's new beginnings. It's fucking time, you guys, right? Love you guys. I will see you guys soon. I'm sending you lots and lots of love and light and lots of blessings.